Netflix and Blockbuster, Netflix gives us peer review, Blockbuster doesn't. Toys R Us, what happened there? People decided that they don't wanna to go to storefronts anymore. People decided that going into a car and buying an expensive product from Toys R Us that they can buy at Walmart for you know, two thirds of the price or at Amazon for half the price with peer review, with delivery to your house in 12 hours is better than getting your car, wasting gas and doing all the shopping. And so you could see these trends are happening. The same thing is happening in the financial services realm, but the Amazon of our realm is the due diligence project. We're the only ones using independent peer review. We're the only ones using technology. I'm gonna show you how we're modeling Amazon and Netflix and, and, and these technology companies, and we're just taking advantage of the trend that is causing Amazon to put retailers and storefronts out of business. And what you're gonna see today is that financial services companies, whether you're selling mergers and acquisitions, whether you're Goldman Sachs, by the way, I remember interviewing for Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan and all these investment banks in college. And I was like, oh man, I used to look up to these humongous powerhouses back when Wall Street was at the top of the world. Now I look at them going, why would they build Wall Street underneath a stockbroker? That makes no sense. We're building family offices underneath elite CPAs. We're building virtual family offices with best in class resources. How do we find those best in class resources? We need to use independent peer review. We need to use technology like Netflix and Blockbuster, you know, and, and, and Uber is using technology to organize resources. So open source, global reach, finding best in class, using independent peer review as opposed to just trusting KPMG to do the peer review or trusting you know, PWC or Arthur Anderson to do the peer review. Is it better just to have Goldman Sachs do the, the, the due diligence or is it better to have a thousand independent financial experts do provide their independent peer review and you get access to that independent peer review versus having a groupthink type of situation?